Snoop D O double G. Snoop Doggy Dog, come on, do it, doggy, with me. Because I'm wearing blue. <laughs> no, you're wearing the bandana blue. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts with Zenith and Corbin. I'm Snoop Dogg. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Hello. Patreon. 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 Twitter account. Subscribe you know, if you haven't hit the like button. You know button. who you are. Who are they? Tyreek? Nope. Oh. It's my homies that also wear blue. Yikes. I don't even know if the Bloods and Crips are still around, actually. <laughs> they are. They're still around. They're just They're very, very low-key. Well, that's good. Yeah, we, we don't want any. We violence. don't need any more high-profile <laughs> stuff going on. We have enough white people shooting. That's that's true. Uh, yeah, we don't need any more of that. <laughs> they're, they're probably sitting back, going, "Damn, what? <laughs> look, look at these the domestic terrorists! <laughs> Crazy." <laughs> Anyways, today we're doing a movie review, <laughs> and it's of the 1994 uh, Tamil film Ma Madhanadi. Madhanadi. Yep. Madhanadi. <laughs> So, uh, directed by uh, Santana Barati, written uh, dialogue uh, right. by uh, Kamal Hassan, and, and also a story by story by, by him. Uh, I don't uh, oh, Rocky Rangarajan. It also dialogue. did a dialogue as well, composed by Raja Sir, and then starring Kamal Hassan and a few of other people. But this is a Kamal Hassan uh, star uh, film. Yeah, uh, it came out in 1994, so it's going to be a hundred cents for review. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. I think we saw it on Amazon. I believe yes, it's on Amazon. It. Uh, so you can go watch it. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Initial thoughts. Obviously, we'll start off with the things that we liked about it. But ultimately, for me, it was not my favorite at all. I it, it I like the story. But as far as the entertaining and engaging or educating and enlightening, it was it was it, it, it did improve in the second half. I had messaged Corbin while we were watching it that uh, the first half was really uh, I don't mean this to sound insulting, but I was it was boring for me. It was slow. Mm. I was trying to keep myself engaged and stay interested in what was going on. The After the first hour, it did get better, and ultimately mm. I think the story is a very good story, but I think it suffers from a lot of other things that, mm. for me personally, it's a one and done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, I, I I agree with the first half uh, or the first forty five to an hour yeah. of I was I was I was like, okay, Kamal's doing good. Everybody's yeah, he's doing, he's always going to be good. Doing good, but I just like what do what's the story here? Right. Obviously, you figured out why as you went along. You do. exactly the story, but it's a long um, drive home. Yeah, it is a it yeah. is a long film, especially being older as well. I think if it was made now, the obviously it would be a lot more uh, crisp and and and, and we understand that a lot of films in India were this length because that was the expectation and you want to give everybody the quote-unquote bang for their buck. It's just not a really I think it, I, I, good... I got much more engaged, though, in the second half. I, I Comparatively, I did. Especially, uh, obviously, once it got into the prison and you've kind of figured out... I mean, who can't get behind, you know... Uh, Chop your arm off to kill a pedophile. That's, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say when I was staring off in the distance, I thought, "Wait, that's a spoiler." I was gonna. I was gonna say, you know, some things in life cost you an arm and a leg. Other things just cost you a left arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, if, the last the if, last if, twenty if you could minutes choose between letting a pedophile walk that, that right. raped your daughter yeah. and cutting off your arm. I think we can. I all think agree it'd be worth it. You're gonna do. Yeah, it'd be cool. But that's a great story to tell. Everybody. How'd you lose your arm? Well, I was protecting my daughter from a pedophile. And uh, you should see the other guy. He's dead now. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, towards the second half, I got much more interested, and it got just it got a lot more engaging with the the story and what would happen. I think a lot of it maybe has to do with how dated some of the film was. I don't, I'm sure the budget was really low. Um, sure, it, it is. It is nice that obviously I, I really appreciated the story. That's of my it that the story and Kamal are the best things about Kamal it. Kamal obviously loves doing interesting stories. He doesn't like doing. Stories that just have this bland, you've seen it before. Right. Uh, a little, there's a lot going on in this film. It's there Steph, is. Steph, <laughs> when she was watching, she was like, why does it seem like bad stuff just happens to him? Yeah. Every film that goes I'm, on. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> like, this is actually, like, in terms of, like, how much bad stuff happened to him, similar to, like, the, the Chandra or whatever, Chandanini bar. Yeah. In terms of just how 
just well, bad stuff keeps and, happening to this and man. Then let's talk about Hey Rom. I yeah. mean, he has a lot of bad <laughs> stuff happen over there, too. Does Kamal Hassan like having happy things happen to him? I, I think he really identifies with the a good person having really bad things happen to them and how uh, far we'll they'll be them. pushed yeah. and w- w- what they do to, you know, will they make choices where it's so still a righteous decision to do what they're going to do yeah. or did they give in to the darkness inside of them and fight the evil with their own warped evil? Yeah, he, I, he's very much interested in that human aspect. definitely kept you engaged in the second half. And obviously, you know why all the stuff happened in the first half of the, doing foreshadowing and build up and all that kind of, of stuff. Of course. You can debate whether that was necessary fully uh, or not, but, and then it became multiple different things. It became a prison drama, prison uh, act, action, action film. film, a thriller, a, uh, what was the film with Liam Neeson? Uh, the uh, Taken or whatever. Yeah, Taken. Any Bas- of the ones where you're, you're, you've done something to my kid and I'm going to get you back for it. Yeah, essentially. It became a whole bunch of different things. It's very, I guess, why is the door open? <laughs> I don't know. We must Hold not on. have latched it. <laughs> That's messing up the audio. In. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we a very small room. Yes, very. Uh, but yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's... Ash told me she was... Th- oh, I didn't get back to her. Cool. She was thinking she might come join us today. Oh, yeah. That was last night. But she was definitely that ain't happening. to have told me. Yeah, we would, I, I told her last <laughs> night, tell me if you're coming anyway. Uh, anyways, um, it's very Indian, Yeah, that aspect of it. Because Indian films have just like... Oh, oh, because when I reviewed that with my uh, cinema club, somebody's like, so what genre is it? And it's like all of them, all of them. <laughs> it's I feel like that's a very like I know it's called masala, and I know that wouldn't this could technically be a this masala, doesn't fall into that but right. It Indian films often, especially older ones, tend to have every emotion, every right. kind of genre, under all the genre sun, blended in a single blended film. In, and right. it's kind of it's an endearing thing um, to have happened. I love obviously. There's it caught me off guard many times of because like when the grandma died, right. Mm-hmm. What happened to those kids? Mm-hmm. I was like, especially her. Yeah, I was like, are we, are we really just about to put her into the sex trade? Like, is this man is literally about to rape a thirteen-year-old. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's like, and, and that's such a change from what uh, happened in the first hour. And I don't know yeah. when, what, how, what point well, it was in the film. And I will obviously one of the things about the film for its time. Is, Definitely did different stuff for sure. Yeah, for the time, for the time, and and the Indian audience. This that's one of the things that Kamal Hassan is known for since like his beginning films. Yeah, is that he doesn't think about whether or not this is going to be a commercial success or the audiences are necessarily going to want to go see it. It's I want to tell a compelling story that I believe anybody who wants to hear a compelling story is going to want to see and has a level of artistic merit to it. So when you compare it to the other films of the day, it's, I understand the fact that it's quite revolutionary. Yeah, in, in, compared, 1994, in 94. I mean, think about the stuff that was coming out in 94 in Indian cinema. Is it DDLJ? Was it 94 In 95? that ballpark. It's, Just, that's the ballpark we're talking. But also that was Hindi, so I don't know. What else was coming on Tamil? When did, that, bom- I'd have to look. When did Bombay and, and, and those ones come that, out? That, I don't remember the dates. Okay. Um, but for the films that people would have known that are going on, uh, this this definitely falls outside the like I said that's wheelhouse. Fa- the, 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 the overall story, and then obviously uh, Kamal, but which is both Kamal. <laughs> the yeah. story is Kamal, and the acting is Kamal. Um, he just he he's he's an artist, right? And so he 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 doesn't want to do the same thing that he's seen before. He wants to do something different. He wants to tell a different story. Um, and and you love that about the man, yeah. Um, and then let's talk about his performance, and, and then we'll get into some other stuff that that uh, we had a little more issues with, obviously. Um, but he, <laughs> this is his vehicle, right? Yeah. This is, this is he's the hundred percent star of this. There are other characters, but they're very very small. They're they're uh, quite expensive. Although I did I did appreciate his wife or love who interest became, who became his wife. Right. He really loves. Let me talk about Kamal here. He loves putting authentic, good relationships between a male and a female yeah. uh, on screen. He's that's one of my favorite. I know we've talked about, about sexuality. Him. We've talked about yes. that, but I feel like he likes to put like a more Western. I'm not saying it's like like uh, totally a Western thing, but the fact that you know, loving, kissing, I want no, you, I want like it very much is. I yeah. mean, and it is Western because that was a lot of the influence that he and even Satyajit Rai 
talked about in terms of wanting their storytelling to be more like that. Because if you look at what was going on when you talk about intimacy and sexual relationships, Hollywood was making films like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf yeah. in the 60s yeah. and Midnight Cowboy in the 1960s. Yeah. Um, and then in the 1970s, Taxi Driver. Mm. So you were getting very real, very raw, very mature content controversial it's why we came up with a rating system and there weren't there were none until who's afraid of virginia wolf uh and then technically midnight cowboy was rated x and then because it was so commercially successful the producers asked the rating system to please give it an r so we can distribute it to theaters and people can see it and they did <laughs> it was not edited the ratings, the rating system just went, okay, fine, it's popular, go ahead. <laughs> and they gave it a rated R, even though it was exactly the same film when they gave it an X. That's awesome. So I only mention that to say, when you make that comparison of what was going on in the West, it's very true. And Kamal Hassan would be one of those people who was influenced, as is most, I mean, you're influenced by good cinema. It wasn't only the West that he was influenced by. Like, if you talk to Anurag, it's everywhere. His, mm. his DVD collection is everywhere. Same thing with Sachi Jirai. He would talk about everywhere, not just America. Yeah. So that's... I agree. That's that I, I can. This is a film I can appreciate for its time and its place. Uh -huh. In the same way, this might be an unfair comparison because you're using technology and stuff. But like, if you watch the original King Kong, mm. it's a one and done. Mm. You can appreciate what it meant for cinema in its day, yeah. and you can say, I, I appreciate and I think that's a great story, but I'm not watching that again. Yeah. That's that's how I felt for this one. Uh, With, I, might, I might watch the second half parts again if it was just on. Um, or maybe I'd appreciate the first a little more since I know the story. But yeah, the the second half was definitely the the much much stronger part. But uh, his performance as well. His performance is, of course, it was good. Uh, <laughs> he's just he's and, believable. He's grounded. And there's multiple moments um, between um, him and the, the, his wife or love interest. Multiple moments where he just broke down. Like obviously at the end with his daughter, which obviously you can just. He's always emotionally available. Empathize with, yeah. and the, it's it's kind of hard not to yeah. really empathize with what happened to him and his family. And he was... never does anything cliche. Mm -hmm. I believe it's justified, and it's in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's he even even though there's nothing like I wouldn't say this is a standout thing where you would want to see it for his amazing acting, but that you don't always get that in every film. Yeah, he's just solid. I think it was yeah I think it was really really good. I I did appreciate a lot of the moments in um like the prison especially when Kamal and his wife were looking at each other and what they did with that cinematically. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite moments. I of course I said Rogers's uh score. Yeah, I I said out loud. I said that's that's really nice. Yeah. Um I also understand that this film was the first time an Indian film had partnered with Avid Technologies which at the time was the forefront of changing the world of editing from actual manual editing of 35 millimeter film to doing digital editing and mm. digital um uh, anything digital but especially the editing aspect of both sound and visuals yeah so i i don't know what to look for in that i don't my my friend uh kenny who's an editor would know what to look for and how that is but Again, groundbreaking Kamal Hassan wanting to do things that are stretching every aspect. I, I was looking and thinking maybe he even did some of the editing. Um, <laughs> he might have. He does everything. He might have. But uh, I also heard, and I don't know if you heard this too, that mm. his idea for the story kind of came about when somebody he knew or like one of the people who worked for him was conspiring to kidnap his kids. What? I read that in a story about the background of this. That really? that's part of what inspired him to write the story about this guy's kids being taken from him. Now they never went through with it, but he had found out that was the case. Now I may have, that may be out of nowhere, but I, wow. Yeah. That's, well, that's awful. If that is the, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me a person at that level. I mean, you gotta be careful. Can't with, think of something worse really than what, no. what really happened to this man. And, um, you can, I, I can completely sympathize with him and wanting to go and take revenge. Absolutely. And, and he's like, I'm, I know I'm here, but these people are still alive and they're not going to leave us alone. And he raped my child. Right. I'm going to go kill him. Yep. And I guess India was eight years or something for. <laughs> There's another aspect of this. For murder. Uh, what do they call it? 
Here we call it time for good behavior, but there's another word for it in this, in this film. Yeah, they say they it over that, and over again. Yeah, I forget what they It's not restitution, they, but it's a, it's a thing you can lose, which he obviously does. Yeah. Um, for time, good behavior, yeah. which wasn't really good behavior. It's more like do what you're told and pay the bribes and yeah. you'll get out. Essentially. Um, essentially. Um, I did like that tension um, of, you know, with the guards mm-hmm. uh, and and him finally saying, I can't ha- I take any more of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was gu- a lot of the L- guards saying, I fell. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. I think it's just desserts. There was a lot of this movie that I, I, I actually really appreciated just artistically in terms of like what it what meant for the time. It's just I think so, it, it might have fallen under also the time of the style of films mm-hmm. that, that that was made in terms of the length and right. the the especially in the first half the pacing being extremely slow and uninteresting almost for a while. Yeah, I felt like there was nothing happening in terms yeah. of I didn't even feel like it's okay if things don't happen like in Opu where you're just being left in a moment but you can sense that there's an intentionality behind that. Well, I now that I've seen the whole thing, obviously you see the intention obviously it's just I just I, in the moment uh, before I had obviously seen it, obviously you can have uh, in, in retrospect you can see everything, but in the moment right, right. I, it was just Me too. Me too. It was it was I I kind of had to stop it a few times and be like, okay, here we go. Get back into this. Yeah, if someone uh, said, what does this fall for you? Like if someone had never seen Kamal Hassan's movies, I would say, it's for its time, there's a lot in this that people praise I and we would get awards for. At the time. Probably would have liked it a little. Oh, yeah. Whole, because, well, it's like anything I look at. from Like if I look at something I saw from 30 years ago, most of the time I look, look at it now with an excitement and go, Oh yeah, that's not as good as I remembered. Yeah, just because of the time. Yeah. So yeah, I would I would say I understand why this movie's loved. And if you're a diehard Kamal Hassan who saw it when it came out, I'm not going to tell you it's a bad movie. I'm no, just going to no. tell you, for me, I wasn't engaged and entertained the way I thought I might be. And I'm a, I won't watch it again. But that's that doesn't mean it's not you don't you can like it. Rick hates Kamal Hassan. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> also, I mean, let all. I, I let all of the hate just go out. I don't know where any of it lands anymore. It's really very liberating. It's wonderful. It's a quite wonderful thing. I do want to talk about uh, Raja Sir's uh, composition. I thought it was actually very subtle for, for a Raja Sir composition. Especially for the era, too. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was at some moments, I forgot there was a score. Yeah. Like, there's a fight sequence where there was no score, and like halfway through the fight sequence, I was like, how often do you get fight sequences with zero music going on? We're just getting the... And then moments of score that are so... The only time it's I sensed that, and I, I think this is both his choice and also the director's choice, they they brought the forefront, the music to the forefront when they needed to, yeah. thematically. Yeah. Like the moments, like you said, that beautiful moment where he sees her through the bars and then the lighting changes and the bars and the people disappear from behind them. That's that's a really nice moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed his score behind it and very subtle for, I feel, Raja Sir. I agree. Um, in the time. Um, and the, the stunt work, I feel, for the day was good. Was it uh, for one-on-one close-up for the day? I've seen way worse good. stunt work oh, my for, uh, that's like early 2000s Indian cinema. No, this was for the day. This was, qu- in fact... It's not surprising with Kamal Hassan, uh, Exactly. No, but. that would be one of the things that's... A story, his performance, and the stunt work score as well as the stunt work. Those are the things. I was, I was very impressed because most of the stunt work was small. Mm-hmm. And that's where you can usually ruin it the most. And most of it, very nice choices. I'm sure it was his as well as the director's. You know, it's really, you should never have a big miss. And so an easy way to do that is to frame the camera. Rather than have it be this way, you have it be this way so yeah. that yeah, he could be five feet away from me, but it still looks like he hit me. Yeah. Uh, they did a very good job with that. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be our next Kamal Hassan and... Uh, Tamo film that we should watch if you haven't seen our other Kamal. I think we've seen this is probably six, six, seven ish in that ballpark, somewhere around there yep. uh, for Kamal Hassan. We're so getting we're, there. We're getting there. He's we're almost have seen his entire catalog, and we've actually seen a film of his now in theaters when it released. Vikram. Vikram. <laughs> Let us know what the next Kamal Hassan film should be down below.